why do you want to do this? Why did you enroll the program? Oh, Sir John, I want to make more money. Why do you want to make more money? Ask yourself, why? Why? And then another why. There's always a reason. We are an emotional creature. Kaya ngayon maraming ta- taong takot with the coronavirus and COVID-19. Because we are an emotional creature. And people, people are hoarding. You don't need to. But since people are scared, people are dying, people get sick. We will do terrible things because we are an emotional creature. Now, you want to use that emotion to your advantage. People ask me, Sir John, how did you overcome those challenges, the moment na dumaan sa buhay mo when you were starting? Sabi ko, I want to be with my son, my firstborn, when he was one year old. This was 2000 and uh, I was born 2007. Though 2006, yung nakatikim na ako ng mga dollars yan, few dollars, di pa malaki, pero nakakabikita na ako online. 2007, it was in June of 2007, pinanganak ang anak ko. And then, uh, again, tumada, may full-time job ako, you know, you just do this part-time, kumikita ka na, alam na, medyo nag-settle ka na kasi kumikita ka na. Malit lang noon, siguro mga $1,000 a month lang. Maybe the most ko na siguro noon was $3,000 a month. And I have a full-time job. And then there was a point na hinatid ko yung anak ko. And I already told you guys a story, right? Hinatid na, uh, mahirap pong maganap ng nanay rito in, the, in, the, in Canada. And in, 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 it's expensive. Okay? Expensive rito. May mga minimum na sahod sila. You know? So the best for us is to drop off our son sa, sa mga daycare. Right? And there was a moment na dinrap namin, wala kami makitang Pilipino na daycare, iniwan namin doon sa isang uh, parang uh, Pakistani o Indian siya. Mukha naman siyang mabait, pero dahil hindi kami magkaintindihan, nung iniwan namin yung anak ko, parang meron doon apat na bote ng gatas, right? Because yung wife ko papasok din, ako rin papasok. And uh, pag-pick up namin sa kanya after work, so from imagine niyo from 8 to 5, hindi na inom yung gatas. Iyak lang siya ng iyak. Isipin niyo, 8 to 5, hindi dumede. There was one time minatid namin yung anak ko so naghanap rin kami ng iba daycare na nakita kami ng Pilipino naman. Dinadrop namin yung dinadrop namin yung anak ko. There was a time na almost one week kaming nasa hospital because magkakasakit siya, mahawa siya eh. Pipick up namin, dadali namin sa hospital. Papacheck. So gagaling siya and then dadrop na uli namin siya, magkakasakit na naman siya. Ganun ng ganun. Tsaka yung pag dinadrop ko yung anak ko tapos iiyak siya, hahabol sa akin. Parang I used that as a trigger na Hey, dude, you, you got a chance. You, ha- you have opportunity right in front of you. You have to make it happen. You have to decide right now. So I use those things to motivate me. So kayo, ang question to sa inyo, what are you using? What are you doing right now? What, what, what pushes you right now? What will make you act- take action? That's it. Is it your aging parents? Is it pagod ka na sa trabaho mo, 8 to 5, hindi ka ba nagsasawa? Is it your kids? Lumalaki, lagi kang wala dahil busy ka. Darating ka, tulog, pagdating ng Sabado, gigimik ka para mga kaibigan mo. What motivates you? That's you need to ask yourself. Because no one can push you. No one. I cannot push you. Maybe after this webinar, you feel pumped up. But after the webinar, you're gonna go back to your old self. What will motivate you to take action? What will motivate you? So sa akin, it evolves. That's another thing. My point, once ako, natapos na ako, diba? sabi ko, I just want to work from home with my son. Ganoon po yung nangyari kasi ako na maliit pa yan ako, one year old, inaalagaan ko habang itatrabaho ko, patutulugin ko, wabalik ako sa trabaho, patutulugin ko, napasarap, tulog din ako. Yan yung mga challenge ko noon, right? Have to, hindi pwede to, John, right? So, but anyways, ganoon po. So, what more revoice you? Sa akin hanggang sa dumating na, you know what, I, can, I would like to design a lifestyle. So, sabi ko, I want to work, pero hindi nakikita ko sa sarili ko, I'm not someone who's gonna work straight 8 to 5. Eh. I want to have breaks. You want to work in the I want to play basketball in the afternoon every day. And I was like in my early 30s pa noon, you know, so I get excited ako. Malakas taas pa tayo noon. Ganun nga po nangyari. So they always have to find a way, okay, to motivate you. I have one student, a motivation niya because meron siyang special child. Nag-iisa yung anak na ng special child. Yun ang ginawa niya motivation. Because of that, that made him quit his job and because of that, nakapagpatayo na siya ng sarili niyang bahay. So what motivates you? What is your big why? What is this one thing na pag inisip mo, man, I want to make this thing happen. I know it won't be easy. I know it won't be instant, but I want to make this happen. Wait, before you go, do not forget to click that red subscribe button below. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.